Insurance, don't want it, gotta have it. COVID crisis has impacted so many industries this year as the virus forced businesses across the country to close their doors. Parts of Nova Scotia are a hellscape. There are 14 active fires, three are out of control. Officials say the situation is unprecedented. Tens of millions of Americans are experiencing torrential rain and record flooding. Streets like this one flooded out, cars stranded. Officials are urging folks not to go out on foot or by car tonight. Insurance is required. So you gotta find yourself an insurance company that fits for your store. <laughs> what insurance is right for your business? Well, there's a lot of things to look at. Uh, do you wanna have one insurance company or multiple insurance companies, if you just wanna use one, you have to find a company that can do uh, workman's compensation uh, if you're gonna have employees, uh, plus covering uh, liability insurance for falls, trips, depending on where your store is located. If you're in a mall, you probably don't have a problem with out front of your store, uh, but in a downtown like I have, I'm liable for the sidewalk in front of my store. Now, I can't repair it, but if there is damage, I have to report it. So you make sure you report it. Uh, keep it clean and clear during storms. Like we have crazy winters in New York, so we do shovel. We have a time that we have to shovel by. If you don't, and then somebody trips and falls in front of your store, then you're gonna be liable for it. So you need insurance for that. I don't know everything about insurance. I've been looking around for a long time. I've been with the company I've been with since I opened the store nine years ago. It started out at $50 a month, and I think now I'm at uh, $175 a month, and I have changed nothing. So that's the cost of insurance. The inflation in nine years um, has moved from that price to this price today. They did, without me asking for, raised my a uh, cap. So for collectible stores on my inventory, that's another thing you want to insure is your inventory. The cost of insuring your inventory can be very pricey. Uh, I'm capped at 40,000. Um, that's an amount I'm comfortable with for a total loss, even though we have about $3 million worth of inventory. Um, I can't replace it for 40,000. Uh, but I can't afford the insurance of a hundred or two hundred thousand dollar insurance policy, and still keep the doors open. So that's one thing you're going to have to find an insurance company, maybe a couple, have the agent come in, sit down and talk to you about the different types of insurance that they um, offer and what would be best for your shop. Now, a lot of you may know if you've been watching for a while. Uh, when we first opened, we were in a different location and we had a flood. Uh, it, the landlord, it was their fault. I probably should have sued him, uh, but I took my insurance instead and my insurance was capped at 20,000. Now I lost my entire comic book collection um, then and 20,000 was about half of the full value of my comics. So at 50%, I was able, pretty much able to replace the comics I didn't do it all in one fell swoop. I didn't go out and try to find the stuff. I took the money, I invested it back in the business. Some of it went to comics. Some of it went to the rent on getting this bigger shop. Um, that's the other thing is, is that when insurance company pays you out, you don't have to spend it on exactly what you lost. You lost the inventory. Um, is, you, know, you can just take all that money and put it in your pocket if you really want to. But of course, it'd be very tough to keep your business going. So my company, uh, and this is not an advertisement, I'm not paid by them. I'm just, you guys know, I try to be completely transparent as possible. If you have any questions uh, about what got me into it, I actually work with a guy, his brother was an agent. So I sat down and talked to him. It was very affordable. 
and it covered everything I needed covered. The company is very large. It's Liberty Mutual uh, or Bibbity Mutual, if you watch the ad. But yeah, it's been a it's been a great company. They paid. Listen, when I had the uh, flood, I had all my comics on an app because um, I didn't have quite the collection I have now, and I sent them a copy of that. Um, I needed to take some pictures of the of the long boxes and the damage uh, that the water had done to the books, and. Man, in two weeks, I had I had a twenty thousand dollar check, so they were Johnny on the spot, and it was great. And I luckily have not had any anybody injure themselves or any employees I've had work here injure themselves to have to go through workman's comp or uh, a civilian uh, or a non-employee uh, try to sue us or go through our insurance company. Um, it's very stressful, so it is very important to make sure that you're covered completely uh, by your insurance company. Uh, it's a lot of stuff to read. It's about the size of a good walkthrough manual, like Final Fantasy size book, but you gotta read through it. You gotta find all your different things. Believe it or not, during COVID, there was a lot of guys that had the right thing insurance on their, uh, through their insurance company, that when you're forced to close for, for a reason that's not yours, that you actually will get a stipend of money. I didn't have that, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna get it. I, I've gotten it on my going forward starting next year. Uh, we're adding that to our insurance. Um, not that I foresee another long closure through a pandemic, but it's just, there could be other things. I'm in a flood zone. We could have a flood and I could be closed for weeks and you can recoup some money through that. There's a portion of money which we, that you get for your merchandise. Like if I had $40,000 of merchandise damaged, I would get that. But if you have this other clause, you can also get money for the days you're closed. There's all other things that are in your insurance policy. You have to read the entire thing. There's a lot of stuff you're like, well, I'll never cash in on that. You never know, you never know. So. Um, read through that whole booklet. It's got a lot of information and it also keeps you advised of what changes come because you get a new one every year and there are changes even though you're, even if your policy stays the same money, they may find that the federal government requires them to cover this or that or st stop covering this or that. Um, so you have to keep up on that. Um, your insurance agent, you should be in good contact with them and talk to them about how um, to be more efficient with your insurance and to be lean. So you don't want to over be paying. You don't want to be paying for stuff you're never going to use. Some of it, it's like a, it's sort of like, a, you know, when you want the sports package from your cable company and you have to take the four Spanish channels uh, and you don't speak Spanish. Um, but you get them anyway, they come free. <laughs> so there's a lot of insurance like that in the book too. You have to look at that and then weigh, do I need that one insurance that comes with all this other stuff that I don't need? Do I really need that one? That way raise my rate. And that's a discussion for you and your insurance agent. I don't know everything about insurance. Um, I'm gonna have an interview probably for the next one. So this will be a continuation. There'll be a part two with an insurance agent. If he'll, um, if he'll come on camera with me, uh, he's a good friend of the shops. Um, he's not my insurance agent. I, I didn't get to know him till later, but he is a great guy and he does really know insurance. So we're going to talk about some things, uh, on the next part that will, that may help you. Um, discover what you need to ask when you do see your insurance agent. Because, you know, you've been in these meetings, like they're, you go in, you go, I need insurance. You tell them what kind of business size, you know, what's the size of your building, all, all the specs that they want. And then they ask you, do you have any questions? I don't know what the hell to ask. So um, we're gonna try to bring an insurance agent on, on and, and tell you what some questions you should ask your insurance agent and we're also gonna talk about your experiences. If you already own a shop, 
please, if you have any good experiences, bad experiences, we want to hear them all. Please give us the information in, um, you know, in the comment section. When you're down there liking and subscribing, yeah, when you're liking and subscribing, you should be, you know, throwing in a comment about, hey, I don't know anything about insurance. This is really helpful. Or, man, that really told me nothing. I, I need to know a whole lot more. Well, stay tuned for part two, because we're going to have a lot more. And uh, you know what? You got to do one thing for me. Keep reading comics and open a comic shop. Please call an ambulance.